Hi guys, I'm here again, back with Jack Pusey from The Daily Star. Uh, today we're going to be doing a very, very requested video which people have been clamouring for for the past 12 months at least and I have been steadfastly ignoring, <laughs> which is the Kardashian slash Jenners. Now, um, as you guys know, we do halves and halves here, so I'm going to be taking three of them and then Jack's going to have another three over on the Daily Star website. So if you want to see the other three, then click in the link below in the description. So first up, we've got Kris Jenner. Now everything I know about Kris Jenner, I learned from the OJ Simpson trial. So Jack, why don't you fill us in? Kris Jenner is the matriarch of the Kardashian empire and is pretty much single-handedly responsible for building the powerhouse that is keeping up with the Kardashians, which is their e-reality show. Um, Chris is 63 years old, very glamorous, and has turned her daughters into a multi-million, or in the case of Kylie Jenner, actually a billion dollar empire. So she's a very smart woman. For all of the kind of glam, there's obviously a real business brain in there. So she's a, she's quite a popular character, I think. People have respect for what she's managed to, to do, really, with the family where she's taken them. Yeah, well, she certainly came off very sympathetically in the uh, OJ mm. Simpson trial, that's for sure. Um, okay, so has she ever admitted or spoken about having anything done? Yeah, she has said that she's had a facelift, a surgical facelift. She talked about it on the show. The thing with the Kardashians is some of them are a lot more open than others. Chris, to be fair, has always talked about, you know, the quest to kind of stay young and keep, her, keep fit. So yeah, she actually bought her friend a facelift for her birthday. Did she? Yeah. Wow. And basically said, it did wonders for me, so I'd love to, you know, wow. give you the same. We all need a friend like that. Don't I know. We? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, there are multiple things that we're looking at here. The first thing that I'm noticing is her eyes. Here, you can see quite a decent amount of the upper lid. Right. And you can't in the before picture. So she's probably had an eye lift. Also, obviously, the contour of the cheek here looks a little bit like sus. Mm -hmm. I do think that she's had something done because before her cheek contour was quite straight. So even though she's had a facelift, which looks great by the way, I do still think that she's had a bit of filler yeah. added in this area here. Nose looks different. She's got a nice brow tip aesthetic line on both sides, which she didn't have before. It looks like she's got, I don't know if that's previous trauma or what. Right. Tip of the chin looks a little bit different to me as well. It's quite can I put it? It's almost quite masculine there. Mm. And then here, a little bit more slim. So I do wonder how she achieved that slimness. Is it because she's maybe taken away a bit of tissue here, either by trying to slim the area using some Botox, right. maybe she's done some fat dissolving injections, maybe she's done it surgically, but it has given her this sort of quite cut, almost delicate looking lower face. Yeah, she's got really crisp jawline mm. on here, I think, especially for someone of her age. She does. I think she looks brilliant. Yeah, she does, she looks amazing, fantastic. And I think that's something that I would certainly aspire to uh, as I got older. But, and also the lip too. Mm. So I know she's got lip liner on here, but the, the vertical dimension of the of the lip does look like it's been yeah. enhanced somewhat. I think she looks better now than she did then. Oh yeah. No, she looks brilliant. Mm. She looks great. She does. 10 out of 10, Chris. Maybe this has been filtered, but even so, mm. I think she still looks better. So next up, we've got Kim. Tell us a little bit about Kim. Kim Kardashian, scandalous rise to fame when her sex tape with Ray J leaked. I thought it was that. Yeah. Who was he again? Um, rapper. Oh. But they managed to turn that, I mean, that's when the kind of public interest in the Kardashians really began. And Chris managed to spin that into, you know, a, a successful reality show. A lot of people credit the family's worst of fame to Kim Kardashian's sex tape, which leaked. And ever since, she's kind of been a hot topic. She was also friends with Paris Hilton oh. and was kind of the sidekick. And now the tables are very much turned. You know, Kim has a much higher profile celeb-wise than Paris. When you say leaked, do you mean well, that's an area of a lot of speculation. Um, I think the way it kind of worked out is that they were basically told, "Look, this is gonna, this is gonna leak. You can either like license it and make money out of it, or like you know sell it on, or you're gonna lose control." So I think they rolled with the punches. Mm -hmm. But yeah, sure. I'm 
there'll be people who are cynical about that. I mean, I, I just have one question, which is who even makes a sex tape? Well, why would they do that in the first yeah, place? Yeah, Pamela Anderson did one, didn't she, back in the day? Katie Price. Um, Did she? Yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah. There's only one reason why you would do that, and it is for this, but anyway. Yeah. She did well, so props. And Kim is, uh, well, arguably slightly elbowed out by Kylie now, but I, I think it's safe to say brought big bums into fashion. Yeah. Yeah. Almost single handedly and in a mainstream way. I mean, I think the Brazilian bum lift has got a lot to thank Kim for. Yeah, um, her influence with the kind of curvaceous small waist, big boobs, big bum. Really, she was ushered in after the kind of heroin chic of the 90s and noughties. Mm -hmm. And she's a beauty icon. So, in terms of things that she might have had done, there's been a lot of speculation about this, hasn't there? Absolutely. Um, not just facially, but also. Body wise yeah, so she well. she had a scan on the show to prove that she hadn't had implants into her bum, but the the reception to that was well, if you'd had a fat transfer, it wouldn't show up. Yeah, exactly. so it hasn't really disproved anything. You know, she's always been curvy, um, she's always been very hourglassy, but yeah, I, a lot of people are very skeptical about her proportions being natural. Yeah, they are extreme. And those uh, images of her on the beach, I remember. Yes, with the yeah. cellulite. Yeah. Yeah. That was a bit of an eye opener for a lot of people, I think. Uh, it's true because often things look good when you're covered up mm. when you're wearing clothes and then you look terrible naked and then sometimes it's the other way around. Yeah. Like, for example, if you've got a large chest, it tends to make you look a bit more matronly when you're wearing a shirt or something. Right. But then, you know, if you're in a bikini, then, then it looks better. Yeah. I, I guess it's sort of the reverse of that mm. with. with Backside. Yeah, I think a lot of her clothes have to be custom made now. I knew a fashion designer um, for Julia McDonald who sent her this kind of knitwear catsuit mm -hmm. and um, to wear for an event. And she said when she sent it back, it was destroyed. Like it was so stretched around the bum that she said she could never send that sample on to someone else because it had been like so. Her curves had just like annihilated the clothes. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So she really does have curves like uh, very few others. So, where do you start, really? Um, I think even with this picture here, she's probably had some things done before that. Uh, I think she's done a rhinoplasty. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if this image was before or after she had a rhinoplasty. Um, she's denied having a rhinoplasty, by the way. They're just, yeah. 100%. Because I remember seeing some other pictures of her where she's trying to remind mm. Obviously, the tan's not doing her any favours there. The contour of the face is a wee bit different. So, in the afters, you can't really see so well, but you can see that the outline of the cheek is quite pronounced, like so. Um, whereas, it's a little bit of a smoother curve around here. I remember seeing some images of her where she had quite a high smile line so you could see quite a lot of the exposed gum at the right. top of her teeth yeah. and, and she's dropped that probably using a bit of Botox right here on either side and you can do that with some fillers as well. She always seemed to me at least to be quite retruded um, in the nose area it was almost quite pushed back and right. I think that's been brought forward um, using a bit of filler uh, which also has a knock an effect of meaning that when somebody's smiling you can't see as much of the, the gums at the top. I think it goes without saying that we've got some lip fillers in here. She probably had lip fillers even on the, this picture here in the before picture but the vertical height afterwards is yeah. greater so they've got a bit bigger. Chin as well so as we get older we lose this bit of volume here on each side and across the chin and that's all been really nicely smoothed out. When you when you have filler it's all about playing with light and shadow. Uh, there are certain areas where it's less attractive and less useful to have too much shadow so I do suspect that all this area here has probably been smoothed out using a bit of filler and also the under eye so you can just see the outline of a bit of a, a bit of a tear trough there and you don't really see that here obviously the image might have been doctored but I'd be very surprised if she hasn't had anything uh, done like that Again, I think she looks brilliant. Yeah, she looks amazing. She looks so good. And of course she was famously treated by Simon Urian, mm -hmm. who's managed to make a fantastic business. 
yeah. out of the fact that he's treated the Kardashians. I think he himself now has about two million followers. Yeah, on that's Instagram. Yeah, uh, and I think he's charging something like um, oh gosh, I don't know, about two thousand dollars for a syringe of dermal filler. It's wow. insane, like that. Yeah, yeah, he's done well. Props. Yeah. <laughs> so next up we've got Courtney. Yes, Courtney. So the eldest of the sisters. She's 40 years old. Famous really for her relationship on off with Scott Disick. And obviously, well, the father of her children in the show, a big part of the storyline is when are they going to get back together because he's still very much around. Um, they co-parent really successfully. Um, and yeah, she's uh, kind of compared to some of the others often credited with a slightly more natural body shape. Oh, yeah. She doesn't have that massive Kardashian bum, which is, you know, famed part of their legacy, really. A mm. um, bit more petite and toned. Mm. So uh, body-wise, she's considered to be one of the most natural. Mm. Um, she has spoken out about having a boob job, though. Yeah, I'm interested to hear what you think of her face. So what, what's she famous for? Does she do something specific? Um, well, it's interesting you say that. There was a lot of controversy in the last uh, series that the sisters kind of attacked her for not having her own empire oh. um, because she's been really focused on her children. She has, in the last month, launched a lifestyle brand called Poosh, it's called, um, P-O-O-S-H, which is kind of like a blog, essentially. Okay. But up until then, she didn't really have the same business power as someone like, you know, Kylie's got her lip kits. Kim's actually also got a makeup line and fragrances. Um, Chloe's got her kind of fitness empire, but Courtney did have a bit of a kind of blind spot, really. So I do think this is a rhinoplasty here. I don't just think this is clever contouring. Something else which really stands out to me is the under eye area here. We don't have as much of a depression there as we did before. She has managed to drop and kind of make her smile a little bit more symmetrical. It's almost like it's tilted off to one side right. in the before and in the after not so much. She's definitely done her lips, but they've been done really nicely. They're very subtle. I'm liking that. But there is an increase in the in the height of the lip. I'd be very interested to know if she's changed her teeth at all because these veneers look pretty long to me. Mm. She has probably crisped this up slightly. Obviously, she's she's very slim. Of course, she's gonna have a very strong jawline naturally, but at 40, not many people would yeah. be naturally quite as firm and as toned looking as she is facially. And I think it's also fair to say that we've done a bit of something in the cheek area too, um, and most probably the chin. So you can see here, there's this outline of a muscle hole just there but she doesn't really have any more so I suspect that all this area here has just been gently improved using a little bit of filler just to disguise these small muscle pulls and speaking of muscle pulls this one here is something that a lot of people mentioned to me in the clinic um, it, it's just a small muscle attachment right there which tends to become more prominent as you get older because you lose fat on either okay. side of it and it drives a lot of people absolutely mental so what we tend to do is put a little bit of filler just on top of it here and then underneath the nose just there and it blends it all in quite nicely okay guys so that's all we've got time for this week i hope you really enjoyed the video if you'd like to see the remaining kardashians please head on over to the daily star website we're going to put a link in the description box below and we're going to be talking about I don't know, the other ones that we haven't spoken Kylie, about Kylie, Kendall, Chloe. That's right, yes. Not the guy, just the girls. See you later.